film house and everything it was to us isn't there at this point in time. It's gone. Gone. If I was to go down there, what would I see? A uh, boarded up building at the moment. Uh, yeah. It's film house is closed. <laughs> We've lost our place to go. It was, yeah, it was gut-wrenching. It was for like-minded people an area that everyone could go to and not feel alone, even if they didn't know anybody else. It had multiple functions, meeting place, you know, for business meetings and things like that. And now, A much bigger cinema ecosystem that you don't necessarily see will be affected by this as well. You see the people front of house, you see the people actually working there, but there's also the people who are, who are making films, up and coming filmmakers whose films won't have the venue to be shown in the same way, won't reach the audience in the same way, and that, that really matters. Community is one of the most important things in your own well-being and, and mental health. That's why these spaces are needed, I think that's why um, cinemas as well like, are, can be this place for people. People who came because they, they valued the fact that the cafe was one of the few places in Edinburgh where they didn't play like loud music, it was quite brightly lit, so it was like a very accessible space. Lots of kids who were at schools would come there to see things because they had linked programmes with the schools. And for many of those kids, particularly from more disadvantaged parts of Edinburgh, that was their first exposure to any sort of cinema experience other than a multi-chain. And there was young filmmakers programmes as well as part of the education programme. So that was all there. For me, it has always been like this feeling that I just felt at home, like feeling welcomed and not being judged based on maybe what you were wearing or what you were doing or, you know, this kind of things. When a place like an independent cinema closes, there's a real sense of community. There's a real, there's a group of people who, who go there and, and treasure it for so much more than the films that are being shown on the screen. It's the the sort of companionship they get from getting to know the staff, the people they meet there. It was a wonderful place, and especially for blow-ins like myself, an archery for everybody in Edinburgh to come to, whether or not to go to see a film or just want to have somewhere to meet their friends. The cinema is a hub for everyone, everyone who likes watching films or is a film lover, or not even, like maybe just likes going from time to time. But also there's so many filmmakers, the cinema is so important for the filmmakers to, to survive. The other thing that Filmhouse was doing was Filmhouse was home to lots and lots of smaller film festivals. Without that, I would not be working in film exhibition, I wouldn't be working in cinemas, I wouldn't be working in film festivals right now. And that opportunity has been lost for somebody who was just like me 10 years ago. I was thinking a lot about the train spotting screening I went to a good couple of years ago. 35 millimeter print of train spotting, just seeing the kind of wear and tear to it and just seeing it on the big screen, just with the phenomenal equipment and talent they have there putting this on. It was just, you know, pretty spectacular seeing that kind of very iconic Edinburgh film in, the, in one of the most iconic cinemas in Edinburgh, if not the country. This cinema was where I got my film education from. Not only did they show the films, they had the education courses. So they changed the whole way I understood cinema. I found that people like Agnes Varga and things like that, no one knew anything about that when I was growing up. And then you found out so much about movies and also about other ways of seeing the world. 
When you watch international films, you get, you get introduced to a different culture. And that totally changes your mindset about, about life, basically. That was entirely groundbreaking for me. I'd never seen anything like that. Totally blew my mind. I honestly think if it hadn't been for the film house, we, we wouldn't be a couple. Yeah, it wouldn't have happened without the film house, I, I don't think. There's always something that can be done, especially by coming together, finding a way to reopen, finding a way to, to go forward. Film House was its own thing, and it did so much more than being a cinema. And I think that's what made Film House special. It, it was just the place to, to learn and grow and develop. I mean, the amount of filmmakers who, from Edinburgh and Scotland, who probably owe their careers to Film House is it's, it's staggering. And to know that that's been lost for a new filmmaker, a new person wanting to work in cinema. It, it, it's, it's devastating. It's, you know, it, it, it feels like you've lost a part of yourself. And I think Edinburgh has lost a part of itself and it's lost something which I think maybe now we're just seeing a building be lost. But I think if something isn't done about it, we'll see a lot of generations losing that opportunity to be involved with film, wherever that may be. Since opening its doors in the late 1970s, the Edinburgh Film House has meant so much to so many. Not just for its screenings and unique events, but for the connections, the friendships and the lifelong relationships made both on and off these screens. Now, right now, is your opportunity to save a cinema. The Film House can and will reopen. All it needs is a bit of help from its friends. If everyone watching this gives a little, it will realistically mean a lot. Not just to Edinburgh and the supporters who already love the Film House, but for the communities, the visitors, and the countless generations of filmmakers who've yet to come here. It is time once more to open the doors. It should never have closed, we all know this. But these doors should not be shut. Let's open the doors. Monahus. Keep those doors open and let the Film House thrive. We know the Film House will rise again. Open the doors. Hmm? Get the doors open again. Keep the doors open. Let's open the doors. Open the doors. Open those doors. Open the 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 doors. Even if it's only the price of a pint, please give whatever you can to the crowdfunder and together we will open the doors.